Amazon to block side loading of apps. You won't be able to jailbreak your Fire Stick anymore, your Fire TV. Have Amazon blocked you from side loading? I can't install this app anymore. These are the sort of comments I get daily. Um, we get these comments across all of our videos, so I thought I'd address the situation. Um, there's many videos on the internet regarding Amazon blocking side loading. And will Amazon block side loading? And everybody is obviously entitled to their opinion about the side loading fiasco or the jailbreaking, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to talk to you about it. I'm going to show you mine. I'm going to show you little reasons why you might not be able to install applications. And I will give you my opinion on it. Before we do that, though, if you can, do remember to hit that subscribe button. Do remember to share the video. And do let me know any issues you're having with side loading apps onto your Fire TVs in the comments or if you've had any apps and your thoughts on what might happen. So why do people think that Fire TVs or Amazon are going to block your side loading? It wouldn't really make any benefit for them to block you side loading applications, installing more applications. It would restrict their user base. It for one would target you guys, which would make you get different devices. Um, I'm not saying that you have to install unofficial apps, but some people like to install apps which aren't within the Amazon App Store. They don't need to be illegal apps. It's just apps out there you might want to install and use yourself and they're not included in that app store. So it, it would only hinder them. It would hinder you guys, which would make you swap devices. What starts a lot of these rumors off, what causes these issues is things that Amazon may do like this, Amazon Blacklist Launcher Manager, um, app for taking control of Fire TV Remote. And with that, you get the warning, cannot open app. So they changed their code a little bit um, to stop you opening applications. But this application, for me, my install of Launcher Manager, which is here, opens up perfectly fine. My one works perfectly fine. There's no issue with it. And that's on the latest update on a Fire TV device. That's on my website. But some people did get that block. Whether that block was a mistake, it's now suddenly working again. So we got no issue on that one. These are the sort of apps which are more likely to be blocked. Okay. They won't block you installing it, but what they will do is block it opening. Apps like Launcher Manager, what they do is change how your Fire TV home screen looks. Okay, so this is how the home screen looks. There's films, there's sponsored, there's applications in certain positions, all this sort of stuff. There's even obviously adverts at the top. These sort of things. These sort of things people pay for their positioning. So certain apps will pay to be in certain areas. Certain apps paid to be available on the Fire Stick. Certain apps paid to be installed directly on the Fire Stick from the beginning. So they they come directly installed and you have them no matter what certain apps you probably can't even remove okay like your prime videos that sort of stuff and obviously amazon want to keep it that way so that's why you have your set layout same as on android tv you have your set layout and android tv has certain positioning and layouts it's a little bit more customizable but that is disappearing as time goes on so they pay for these apps to be in certain places um same as in the app store if you go in the app store as soon as you go into a section of the app store you will get featured and um, you'll get one straight underneath, which is Spotlight. You've got your sponsored banners. Um, then you get, it goes straight to Featured. Okay, it doesn't go to App Library. It doesn't go to Search. It goes straight to Featured, where, again, people will pay a little bit of money to be there. And um, it's like at marketing, advertising. So the last thing Amazon want is loads of people changing this. This doesn't mean they will stop you installing anything. Okay, this doesn't mean that you can't install other apps to add to your App Library over here. There's your apps. My apps, install whatever you want. That's fine still. But what they don't want you to do is adjust how the display looks. Okay, kind of makes sense um, as a business point of view. Annoying for us, but it's still possible. Like I say, my launcher manager works. And if you want to change the way your Fire Stick looks, Fire TV looks, I will link a video underneath how you can do that. Because it's still working as of the day I'm making this video. Reasons why you might not be able to install. I know a lot of you get errors when you're trying to use Downloader. Um, this can be because in your settings, go to applications, go to manage installed applications, go down to downloader, and in here you need to check the permissions, okay? Storage needs to be allowed. A lot of people when they open downloader do not accept, accept the permissions because they think, why does it need access to my storage? Um, not understanding that you are downloading something, so of course it needs access to your storage. Um, I'll show you what to do if your downloader doesn't install apps. You can just force stop it, clear data, and then when you launch the application again, this pop-up will come up, 
and make sure you allow it. You click allow, then click OK. Then your downloader will work. No problem. It will work as always. I can demonstrate for you quickly now. If you go to my website, 757 26, click go. It will go into my website. There's a few more privacy things you have to agree to these days. It will load up and then you can just install an app as always. So once you're on my website, you can just scroll down. I'm just going to do one for demo purposes. Um, we can install anything down here, really. It doesn't really matter. And um, what should we install for a demo? Set orientation, just a little app there. A good app which is useful, not illegal, not third party. Another app that you might want to install on your Fire Stick though, because it can orientate applications in the, to the right direction. You click download. If any adverts pop up, you just close them. And then obviously you just click install. And as you see, app installed. No problem. Not at all. Side loading still works. Installing app still works. And that application will appear in your apps down here. My apps. And there's app orientation. Nice and easy. Nice and easily installed. Sorry, let me open it as well just to show you that apps do open that you install as well. So all you have to do here, this app is very simple. Um, it opens no problem, but you can just change. You can either disable it or you can change it only if you need it. I'll leave mine disabled because I actually don't need it at the moment. But it's so if you had like a mobile app, you can make it into landscape, that sort of thing. But um, it's not needed for most TV apps anyway. Another reason you may not be able to install, go to your settings, go to My Fire TV. You may not have developer options. To get developer options, you click on About. You click on the name of your device seven times. As you'll see at the bottom, it's saying, I don't need to, I'm a developer. Yours will say, you are now a developer. Then you get your developer options. You can turn ADB debugging on. This needs to be on when you're using Downloader as well. Install unknown apps. You need to turn it on for any app which you are installing an app off of. Okay, so it needs to be on for Downloader. Again, nice and simple, nice and easy. Okay, just before we go, if you are interested, we are now doing a lot of live streams as well. So if you are interested, we live stream over on an website called kick kick is a new live streaming platform a bit like a twitch a bit like youtube really but it's just for live streams no videos my videos are staying here so if you do want to follow me that link is directly underneath we're going to be doing regular live streams to keep you all up to date so do check that site out underneath also if you are interested to keep yourself safe online you may need these for any applications you do install you want to keep yourself safe you want malware protection you want tracker and ad blocker and a secure high speed vpn we are partnered with nordvpn they are linked directly underneath for you as well so if you are after a vpn do want to help support the channel there's a great link under there and there's a couple of other vpns if you are interested in them as well linked for you to use brilliant so hope that cleared up a few things for you um, we will keep you updated if anything changes, but as far as I am concerned, they will not be blocking it. It doesn't warrant it, but we will see what happens. That's my opinion. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. Thumbs up from me, thumbs up from you. I've been Doc Squiffy, and I'll see you soon.